Good morning, everybody. Welcome back from Salmon Scott Selections here for Saturday, March 4th. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in hockey with the Hurricanes minus one and a half goals at minus 125 on BetMGM. Never in doubt, Hurricanes led by two after one, and they opened it up from there. They won six to one. Arizona, definitely a full fade team moving forward. They are horrible, arguably the worst team in the league, and we'll look for another winner here on Saturday. But for today's play, that I actually go on a pivot to some UFC action. As it is a pretty big card, you have UFC 285, which means the return of John Jones. However, we are going to look at another fight. We're going to have one pick on the actual main card, and it's going to be in the opening matchup between Bo Nickel making his UFC debut and Jamie Pickett. And for this matchup, we're going to take Bo Nickel to win by submission at minus 154 on Fox Bet. Time recording of 3 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings why we're going to take Nickel to win by submission. First reason, look at the actual money line prices for these fighters. I say this all the time in UFC videos that I do. Anytime I can try to take a massive favorite and cut heavily into the juice by taking his preferred method of victory, it is usually a very solid value play. And this is a great example of that because Bone Nickel in this fight is roughly minus 1500 on the money line or minus 2,000 even at some books. So in other words, books are giving Pickett basically no chance of actually winning. And to look at Nichols' background, he is, has a very, very heavy wrestling background. He was a former D1 college wrestler. And in his two Dana White Contender Series fights, he recorded at least one takedown in each of those two fights. And he won both those fights by submission in less than 63 seconds. On top of that, he landed less than six strikes in each of those two fights, which means one thing, Bo Nickel wants to take this fight to the ground as quickly as possible. It's where he's most comfortable, and I think as a result, this price should be a lot higher. Once again, you're saving roughly, what, $14 or so just by converting the money line into submission when it's his preferred method of victory. And Pickett, historically speaking, has not exactly been great at stopping opponents from submitting him. Pickett has lost three times by submission in his career. He also lost to Dalkus two fights ago via first-round submission. And Dalkus is a guy who really, really wants to take fights to the ground as well. Pickett got taken down three times in that fight in the first round and ended up losing. So I do think you're going to end up seeing a pretty similar script to that, uh, sorry, not, uh, yeah, to that Dalkus fight. I think you'll end up seeing Pickett Probably get taken down immediately, and I think that Nichols just going to wear on him. Might happen for a couple of rounds. I'm not saying Nichols going to be an automatic winner in round one, but I do think eventually with all the takedowns and all the transitions, Pickett's going to get caught. It's kind of affected him his entire career, and based on where the money line price is and the fact that Pickett has lost two in a row, it really does feel like the UFC is just handing Nickel a free win, and the odds makers suggest it. But you're looking at Pickett's takedown defense in his UFC career, 65%, which is decent, but it does mean he is, cap he is susceptible of being taken down by very capable wrestlers, and Nickel is probably the best wrestler that he's ever faced. I think you're going to see a pretty simple game plan for Nickel. Get the fight to the ground, keep battling, find an opening, tap him out. I think it's going to be as simple as that, but the point is minus 154 for roughly a minus 1,500 money line fighter is a steal for me, and I feel like on principle I have to take it. Now, if he wins by knockout, it would be unfortunate. I think he will win inside the distance under one and a half rounds. It's like minus 300. But I do think with with um, Nichols' last two fights and the fact that he only threw six shots or threw less than six shots in those two, I think that kind of suggests that even when Nickel gets into an advantageous situation to ground and pound, he really won't look to do it. He's going to try to chain together transitions, try to find the neck, and I do think he'll end up getting the choke in probably in the first five minutes. But Pickett's stamina has been a concern in past fights. And if this fight does go a bit longer, maybe into the second round or the third round, I don't think Pickett's body is going to handle being taken down that often and just having Nichols' body weight on top of him the entire time. So once again, I'm going to go with the value play here and trust what has worked for my UFC picks in the past, which is taking a hefty favorite by his favorite method and saving a bunch of juice. The play that it once again here for Saturday, March 4th, is going to be on Bo Nickel to win by submission at minus 154 on Fox Bet. Bye, everyone.